Hello and welcome to Infinity. Let's just finish off brushes with a few bits and pieces left over we haven't done. So let's get our brush and uh, let's make it a red brush. There we go, so it's nice and clear. And it's these things across from here. First thing is symmetry. So if I click on this here, a line appears and oh look, I seem to have got two cursors. And if I draw one, it goes like that. So I, got, so I get symmetry about this line here. So let's undo that for the moment, because when I go into the middle here, I can click on this and move it to anywhere in the picture. So if I want to put, do some particular painting in any part of a, an image, I can, I can do that as well. If I click on the lock, watch the little point in the middle there where I can move it. I click on the lock over here, so that disappears, so I can lock it in place. And if I click on mirror, now they both go in the same direction. Take mirror off and they go in opposite directions. And finally, the number of here, one, that's one. I can change this to up to about 16, I think. It goes up to 16. And when I got 16, you can see 16 wires around here. And oh, look. And if I paint here, I've got... So I can actually paint a donut like this. And if I want a bigger donut, I just increase the brush size. And I can do things like that. So it, it gives you that ability to play with those things. Let's turn it off because it's a bit weird. There we go. So what else have we got? Blend mode. This is kind of handy. Um, this is where if I paint something here. Um, this is says normal, but if... If I go down to other things down here, I can change the way that this works. What happens is I will, if I say, let's do a difference. And why is it cyan here? Because I've got the difference between the red brush and the white underneath. And if I go underneath, this is like putting two layers on top of one another and using the blend mode, but it is only done for each stroke, pen stroke. And so I can play with all kinds of other different things here. Um, what does that do? Oh, that seems to turn away. You can literally have to play with it because it. you can find different things it can do. You can change the brush colours. And see how things interact. And this is just like layering paint, but making it mix together differently. And if you go all the way down here to negation, this is actually quite a handy one in this because when you paint, it basically negates everything underneath it. So you could always see the brush. It doesn't disappear as the brush would otherwise. Get rid of that. Next one, wet edges. If I paint on here, let's go back to red and turn this back up to normal. So I got a red brush, but look what I got here. It's sort of like, it's sort of red around the outside and sort of pinker in the middle. And this is because it's emulating wet edges like you're painting in watercolour. And this works even more if just for a moment, let's go up to brushes and go to texture, brush. Now when we paint with this, you can see the kind of effect you're getting there. It's it's like you're painting with, with a brush and it's, and the water colour effect is happening. So that's what that does. Oh, and the last one over here is, let's go back to the ordinary brush. And where is it? Ordinary brush, please. There we go. There we go, painting normally. If I go to Erase here, take the Erase brush, my paint here, I'm knocking a hole through this to the checkerboard underneath. Now if I go back to my paint brush, if I try to paint over that, it goes over the top of it. But if I check Protect Alpha, Alpha is transparency. So now if I come up to it, you'll see it's protecting the transparent things. So there you go. These are a few last bits and pieces you can do with brushes. We've gone through quite a bit in several videos, but they're useful things to know about. And now you know you can do all kinds of stuff. So thank you very much for watching.